that the new fund will, will vary really to follow uh, if, if you, you happen to have a team or so in the board. Or <laughs> then uh, uh, the programs are not enough if we don't have the financing. So we are just starting uh, the fourth uh, 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 pledging uh, negotiations of GEF, and GEF is hosting uh, the four climate funds. So our aim it is in the connection of this GEF funding, also the role of attention to the gender element. And we can try to develop there some gender programs together. Uh, climate Secretariat and the climate funds are only some kind of carrots and, and minor uh, actors actually in the field of development. And we have to look now very carefully the whole UN system which is supporting the uh, implementation of the new climate regime. And I'm really glad that we have had today here uh, UNDP, UNEP, uh, the disaster risk management, and we had UNICEF. And so we have to look at the programs of all the relevant UN uh, agencies and programs to see what they can do to support uh, women's participation in climate activities. And we have also, all our governments have bilateral programs with developing countries. And our government has now taken an initiative to develop a special climate program under our development cooperation. And as Rebecca said it so clearly, this is nothing new actually what we are now talking about. Agriculture, food security, rural development, water, energy, and forest have been long the priority of our development cooperation. Now we can put it into the climate and angle and, and look it from that perspective and concentrate also for our for a while our activities on agriculture, water, energy and, and forests. And uh, by that uh, I would like to underline very much that climate or gender is nothing uh, which is added on to the development efforts of all of us, developing countries and uh, developed countries. It is the essence of the poverty eradication and uh, achieving of the de uh, millennium development goals. So we have just to uh, see this link and the question is, about the empowerment of the woman in the development of their societies. Now we have this, let's say, action uh, plan. We have made this kind of plan uh, for our climate negotiations, but uh, I think that we have to see how from the convention or new protocol we come to the villages. There is a long way to go, and, and we should now concentrate on that. Uh, I think in the morning, uh, the Secretary General of UNCTA had already, was it 14 steps on the national levels, but we have to look very carefully now on the practical action on the uh, local development, and there the empowerment of the women. By that, we can do also make the climate uh, action more effective. If women doesn't participate, nothing will happen at the local level. That is the truth. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. 
Uh, thank you very much, um, Ira, for sharing um, your very long experience in that field with us. Um, before I take more questions from the floor, um, I think we should um, respond to the questions that we have here in front of us. So I will pass um, uh, the mic on again to Lorena. Uh, one question says, since in the development world we only emit half ton of carbon per year, and our environment is threatened with degradation and climate change, is there mitigation measures, especially for women, to offer credit to women to say plant more trees? Yes, and, and there are many other alternatives. Um, we have, for example, um, projects that are being directed for the management of protected areas for tourism, for non-timber products, for green enterprises, uh, for clean energy. So uh, there are a variety of resources available uh, in the different countries and in the different regions to look at this. It's not only about planting trees, it's about doing a lot of adaptation uh, actions that will also have impact uh, in mitigation. Um, in relation to the availability of information on gender and climate change in, in Africa and Southern Africa, there is a network on gender and climate uh, change in Africa, and Rachel Napinga is the person to get in contact with, but we can also provide you some extra information through our uh, networks uh, of um, the institutions. Are there many different UN instruments uh, and how to help um, civil society uh, to use them? I think uh, one important thing is to know them know them in depth, what uh, instruments they are, and then request and ask for accountability. And not only the ones that are related uh, to climate change, but also those that are related to human rights and to women rights, and ask that they are um, taken into account in climate change. It's amazing, uh, two uh, cops ago, um, CIDAO was mentioned, in the, uh, the debate, in this case, of the Convention on Biodiversity. And they had to stop the meeting because the translator didn't know what Dao was about. So uh, it is fundamental that we try to bring and, and make bridges between uh, the different conventions and ask for accountability uh, on them. Thank you, Lorena.